Welcome back to the channel where you better understand supply chain management and operations. Today we're learning about the A3 method. The A3 method is a structured program solving and continuous improvement approach originally developed by Toyota as a core part of the Toyota production system. It's named after the international paper size A3. This size constraint of the A3 format is designed to encourage conciseness and focus. It contains eight parts which I'll be going over shortly before talking about the benefits and the application of the A3 method. The first section of the A3 method is background information. It sets the stage for why the problem is worth solving. It identifies a problem in a broader context helping stakeholders see the bigger picture and the impact of the problems of the organization. This could include how the issue affects customer satisfaction, cost, safety, or quality. Next you look over the current situation. Here you'll describe the problem in specific measurable terms using data and visual tools like charts, graphs, and process maps in order to help you illustrate the current state of affairs. This visualization helps identify discrepancies between the current state and the goal state, providing a clear baseline for improvement, followed by the goals and objectives. Think of the acronym SMART. S-M-A-R-T. S-M-R-T. I mean S-M-A-R-T. Goals should be specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. This step transforms the broad intent of problem solving into a concrete and actionable objective. For instance, reducing the downtime of machines from 15% to 5% within six months. Once you have your goals, it's time for the root cause analysis. At this stage, you'll dig deep into why the problem exists. Tools like the five whys, fishbone diagrams, and parado analyses are commonly used to trace the problems back to its origins. The root cause analysis is critical because it ensures that the solution addresses the actual cause and not just the symptoms. Once you've found the root causes, you'll need to propose countermeasures. This step involves brainstorming and selecting solutions that will effectively address these causes. The proposed solutions are typically innovative, aiming to rectify or mitigate the identified issues. This stage may also involve a cost-benefit analysis to prioritize feasible and impactful solutions, which leads to the plan. The plan outlines who will do what and by when, and includes detailed actions, responsible persons, and timelines. This step converts the strategic into the operation making the execution of solutions manageable and track. It often includes a Gantt chart or a similar project management tool. So once the action plan is implemented, it's time to consider the results. This section assesses the outcomes against the original objectives, metrics and data that are used to objectively determine if the goals were met and to what extent. This is critical for verifying the effectiveness of the countermeasures. Finally, you follow up. The final step ensures that the improvements are sustained. It may involve standardizing the new process, implementing ongoing training, and setting up systems to monitor the key Key metrics. Additionally, lessons learned are documented and shared to improve future problem-solving efforts. So what are the applications and the benefits of the A3 method? It promotes collaboration amongst peers since the A3 is a visual tool that can be easily shared and understood. It fosters communication and team engagement. By systemically addressing problems, it also helps build critical thinking and analytical skills within the team, which ensures alignment between everybody in the group towards a common goal, ensuring that everybody understands a problem and solution. The A3 method also develops problem solving skills by systematically addressing the problems, which allows everybody to drive for continuous improvement, promoting a culture of ongoing enhancement of processes and outcomes. The A3 method is not just a formality. It's a strategic tool used in lean management that promotes systemic thinking and continuous improvements. It's widely applicable across different sectors and problems, from reducing waste in manufacturing processes to improving turnaround times in services or enhancing quality control and product development. 